If you're like me, you've probably been itching to get Once Human running smoothly on your Steam Deck. After some thorough testing on the OLED version, I've got all the details you need to optimize your settings and enjoy a seamless gaming experience. So in today's episode, let's get right into the nitty gritty of getting the best performance out of Once Human on your trusty handheld device. Before we get started, please like the video if you're excited, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates and cool videos. Performance Breakdown First up, let's talk performance. We tested the game on various graphical presets, and here's what we found. On the very low preset, the game ranged between 37 to 63 FPS. The low preset hovered around 39 to 58 FPS. Medium settings fluctuated between 29 to 43 FPS, while the high preset dropped to around 21 to 33 FPS. Finally, the very high preset slowed down to about 19 to 31 FPS. As you can see, the game runs decently on the Steam Deck, but the framerate can be quite inconsistent, especially on higher settings. To get the game running, you'll need to use Proton 7.0 to 6, which isn't too much of a hassle, but worth mentioning. The Sweet Spot for Performance So, where's the sweet spot for performance? From our tests, the low settings seem to offer the best balance between visual quality and smooth gameplay. Locking the game at 45 FPS on low settings provides a relatively smooth experience without too many dips or spikes. This setup ensures that you can enjoy the game's visuals without sacrificing too much in terms of performance. If you're okay with a slightly lower framerate, medium settings with a locked 30 FPS also work well. This option provides a bit more visual fidelity at the cost of some performance stability. If you're keen on conserving battery life, especially for those longer gaming sessions, locking the framerate to 30 FPS on very low settings is a solid choice. This setup helps extend your playtime without compromising too much on gameplay smoothness. Compatibility and Proton versions First things first, you need to address compatibility issues. Once Human wasn't initially supported on the Steam Deck during its closed beta phase, mainly due to its incompatibility with Linux-based systems. However, the developers at Starry Studio have since made strides to improve this. To get Once Human running, you need to switch to an older Proton version. This can be done by navigating to the game's properties in your Steam library. Right-click on Once Human in your Steam library, then select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and check the box that says Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. From the drop-down menu, select Proton 7.0.6. Once you're past the server login screen, the performance on Proton 7.0.6 can be quite problematic. To stabilize gameplay, switch to Proton GE 9.10. This involves installing Proton GE 9.10 from the Proton GitHub page, then repeating the same steps as above to switch the compatibility tool, but this time selecting Proton GE 9.10, optimizing settings for best performance. The Steam Deck, especially the OLED version, offers an impressive array of features that can enhance your gaming experience. These include boosted battery life, HDR support, and a 90 Hz display. However, to get the best performance out of Once Human, you'll need to make some adjustments to the in-game settings. Display and graphics settings. Set the display mode to full screen and the resolution to the native 1280 by 800. For graphics settings, choose low to ensure smoother performance. Cap the frame rate at 60 FPS to prevent unnecessary strain on the hardware. Lower the texture quality and render scale to between 70% and 50%. Anti-aliasing, shade, VFX, draw distance, and vegetation density should all be set to low. Turn off V-Sync and motion blur for a more stable frame rate. Detail settings should also be kept on low. While Once Human is technically playable with these settings, the experience can be a bit janky, with severe frame rate dips even at the 15 watt TDP preset. Additionally, the game does not support gamepad controls at the time of writing, which means you won't be able to control your character in game. It's also recommended to turn off half rate shading for better text legibility. Logging into a server on Linux systems. For Linux systems, including the Steam Deck, players might face a peculiar issue while trying to log into a server. The game may crash and refuse to start a new game. The only way to fix this issue is to revert to an older Proton version, as detailed by multiple users on ProtonDB. Switch to Proton 7.0.6, 
which can be accessed under the game's properties by forcing the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Once you manage to log into the server, you can then switch to Proton GE 9.10 to stabilize performance. This dual step process helps bypass the initial roadblock and ensures a smoother gaming experience thereafter. Additional tips for smooth gameplay. Keep your Steam Deck's firmware and the game itself updated. Developers frequently release patches and updates that can improve performance and fix bugs. Also, consider tweaking the power settings on your Steam Deck to prioritize performance over battery life. This can be done by accessing the device's settings and selecting a higher performance mode, which will draw more power but provide a smoother gaming experience. Regular maintenance like clearing the cache and temporary files on your Steam Deck can also help keep things running smoothly. Over time, these files can build up and impact performance, so cleaning them out every now and then is a good practice. Final Thoughts Playing Once Human on the Steam Deck can be a fantastic experience with the right settings and tweaks. While the game's performance can be a bit inconsistent, especially at higher settings, finding that sweet spot with low or medium settings can provide a smooth and enjoyable gameplay experience. Remember, tweaking the settings and using the right Proton version are key to getting the best out of your Steam Deck. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more epic gaming tips. Ring the bell so you never miss an adventure. Let's keep this gaming party going.